there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's Saturday, May 28th at 1525 hours, and the guys are putting together the new high voltage cage here in the new high voltage lab. There's Corey, cameraman extraordinaire. Liz up there doing her thing. And then here's Jeremy. Hi. Jeremy. You're famous on the internet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeremy? Yeah. Why do we have a second nut on top? We double nut it so it doesn't strip. You double nut it so it doesn't strip. Then we pull the top nut back up. I always, I always put the, the one nut down a ways. Like, you know, leave half an inch sticking up. And, yeah. Does it work better that way? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Learn something new every day. So, hanging out. Are you having fun? Yep. First yeah. time here. Yeah? What's your name? Eric. Eric? Hi, Eric. You're, you're in the captain's vlog now. You're famous on the internet. So, and now you know how to set anchors. <laughs> and the dog is supervising. We have to cut that one down because he got it. He stripped it out a little bit when he pounded it in. It happens. I trust you. All right. So they're setting this in. This beautiful new cage. Actually, it's the same old cage we've had since 2005 or so. I don't know. No. Goes back. We got it for shippers. We've had it that long. So we've had the cage for a long time. But here is the high voltage cage with Tesla coils inside and other goodness. My goal is that by the end of the day, we will uh, be able to make some arts in there, but I can't do anything until we have the cage in place. And we can't run coils until we have the grounding net in place, and that's going to take a while, but I can get a big pendulum going. So that's a good idea. And I'll show you what else is up. Hey, you found fish tapes. You thank God for that. Holler at Kidwell and send him downstairs. Okay, where is he? He went that way. Oh, He's probably in a tow room looking for fish tapes. Oh, okay. I'll see if I can find you. Hey, Paul! I have no idea where the hell he went. All right, you guys have fun. I found fish tapes, so I'll be back in a bit. Bye. Captain's blog, 1725 hours, and we've got work happening out here with Larry Curley and Schmo. All right, Dan, tell us what you got. Okay, so six inch deep pad of concrete going in to hold the generator and a couple pole pigs, right? Yeah, big transformers. Yeah, so uh, we went to the, um, the foundation of the building between the block and the, uh, the well, come on, Come on down here and show us. And what you got. we went six inches down, give or take. This is just really roughed out. So right here is where the top of the pad's gonna sit. Okay. It drops an inch from that side to here, so the water runs off. And then what the idea is, is building a ramp out the rest of the way to the sidewalk. Okay. So that you can bring the forks up here, because out this way, the, the alley dips down and becomes a, a valley. Okay. And running uh, forks up that side there is just not, not possible. They got, I don't know who did what, but they brought in a whole bunch of hard pack right here. This is all gravelly hard pack. So we can't go down any further without some heavy machinery. Okay. So we leveled it off to the hard pack, which is about six inches. And right now, um, a couple guys with some shovels and be it'd be roughed out the rest of the way. Cool. A little bit of sand and uh, a wood form, and we're ready for concrete in here. That would be awesome. So. All right. That's cool. Where we're at. Well, now we just got to get some concrete donated. <laughs> Thirty-two by fourteen, six inch deep. 32 by 14, six inch deep. Yeah. Okay. I, my yard math might be off, but I think that's like eight yards. Eight All right, quarter so that's yards. two trucks. Two trucks-ish. All right. Well, now we just so. gotta find somebody who can donate the concrete because that's like two grand. So. Yeah, those trucks right. are not cheap. Well, we'll make it happen though. Now, if I get the concrete done, can you float it? Can you float it? I can spread it and I have floated concrete once, but I'm a really big guy, <laughs> so it's gotta be closer to green than wet. <laughs> when, I, when I start getting on it, to float it. But it's it's all open out here, so if I had a real long float, I wouldn't have to okay. water bug on it to Okay, well I'm sure we it. can rent one or something. Yeah, you can get the ones with the 30 foot extending and you can just do the, the float. Okay, cool, and, then, and I see you're using our transit. Yeah, I think that's the, the first project we've actually used our transit we, on. We kinda, Joe and I sat down and we, we kinda stared at it for a bit, because the base, this this tripod is not this transit's tripod. Okay. Um, this is a threaded body right here, and it's supposed to thread down on, and then you use these guys to level it. 
This has a, a, it had a center peg and nut for a different style transit. So Joe and I were taking a look at it and he spotted these threaded holes on here and we just kind of shouldered some bolts in there. And <laughs> it, it's actually holding on quite well. It's nice okay. and stable. So well, as long as it's level, it works. Yeah, and this is this is within an inch high or low, you know. Cool. So it's but we're it's, not tamped yet, so that's gonna. It's not tamped. No, it rains on it the first time, and probably have to bring some of this extra dirt on the outside in right. to fill the low spots. All right. But that center right there, where the hard pack is, <laughs> it's not going to change anything for anything. I mean, we could All take right. the pickaxe to it a little bit more and spend a couple hours out yeah, here. Yeah, swing the pickaxe on it so you can see how useless go, it Drew. is. Go, uh, Drew. Pickaxe is right where does it go? <laughs> Watch me just. Horribly don't, don't let it bounce back into you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want. Do the point, not the blade. Otherwise, yeah. it will bounce. No, I know that one. Yeah. Go ahead, swing on it, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> it only digs in about an inch. That's great. So if we had about 20 picks axes and about three weekends needs, worth of work. We could take it down three hats. Hats. I, don't, I don't think we need to. I think we're going to be all right. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is that the, the pad comes up to the line. The line's actually in place right now. It's going to have to be reset when the concrete and the form gets put in. But the concrete comes up to the, the line right here and then we just we dig down into the sidewalk a little bit and we create a ramp right here and it's all what? 10 degrees of rise and run? Okay. So it's you, you get a fork. I mean you drive. Oh yeah the forklift will handle that no problem. Yeah it'll go up this if it can come up that alleyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then as you can see the alley. Goes then we can set deeper. the we can set the generator. We can set the transformers. Yeah. We'll be set. And then we'll put a nice little privacy fence around it. Keep yeah, keep it out. It'll be safe. Yeah, it'll be nothing to it. Yeah, it'll so. be great. And it doesn't nothing here makes any noise. So yeah, because yeah. the generator runs for 15 minutes a month on yeah. a Saturday afternoon. That's no big deal. Yeah. And uh, the transformers are silent. Well, so you've already talked about not running things after nine. Yeah, nothing runs after 9 p.m. anyway. So, so the generator would never. Be yeah, there. nobody will care. Yeah. So yeah. all right, cool. Excellent. More as it happens.
I do believe they're using them in conjunction. Just do it faster, Drew. Right here, Dan.
Remember to bring the top part. I gotta bring this. What do you mean the top part? I was thinking more about inertia and continuation of motion, not duration of. Kind of sounds like my second. The, the inertia Science. doesn't matter for this. Things, but yeah, the electrostatic is going to be. To let you know, that is the float out of a giant reservoir. Probably bigger than the side room over here. Kind of like a ball in your toilet tank. Shut the water flow off. This particular float is of particular importance because this float belonged to Mr. Kidwell's father. Yes, my father obtained it because we had a flagpole and the top of the flagpole got busted off. Time is 2013 hours. And there are our first serious arcs in the new high voltage lab. It's just a basic little test setup, but it's working. It's pretty. It's high voltage. the amount of current we're pulling. Watch it wire. That's awesome. Crap, I've never seen that happen. you never seen wire move? Not like that. Oh man, you gotta play with bigger toys. That's, that's a pretty common occurrence. It's just the first time in a new lab we've made a wire move. That's pretty cool. And remember, that's AC. So there's a serious current going through there. have fun. That's today's captain's blog. We'll have more fun and excitement for you tomorrow.